Hello everyone. Uh, the third assignment of the week is on IXL S4. The second one was about finding the slope when the line is visual, it's given on the coordinate plane. This one is about finding the slope when we do not have anything visual, but we just have the two points. So with this, we are going to label each point as x1, y1, and x2, y2. And then plug these numbers into the formula of m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y always should stay at the top because that represents the rise and then x, the other x's should go in the denominator because they represent the run. So this one still is rise over run actually. So here we plug in the numbers that we have y2 is 1 minus y1 is 9 divided by x2 is 2 minus x1 is 5. So 1 minus 9 is negative 8 divided by 2 minus 5 is negative 3. When you divide two negative numbers, remember the whole thing turns into positive. So instead of negative 8 over negative 3, we can just put 8 over three simplify your answer just let's just finish reading the instructions directions simplify your answer write it as a proper proper fraction improper fraction and integer so our answer would be eight over three let's move on to the next level and see what it is once we have uh once we have 72 points which is what you need actually uh that's the question that we are going to get. The only difference is, let me see, the numbers are two digit. Okay, so here, find a slope. Let's label the points x1, y1, and this one here is x2, y2. The formula is subtract the y values and subtract the x values. Okay, y2 is 14 minus y1 is negative 33 divided by x2 this is x2 by the way it looks like a y uh, the number is negative 1 minus comes from the formula and then x1 has another negative so I want to put that in the parentheses I don't know how I changed that color that wasn't my point I, I didn't even okay uh, now we have two negatives at the top sitting next to each other that means we are going to add 14 and 33 so when we add these two numbers it is 47 the sign is positive 14 minus negative 33 is 47 negative 1 minus negative 41 that's going to become positive 41 equals to this right here so there's no number that you can simplify, you can divide both of these by. So that would be my final answer, 47 divided by 40. That's a weird answer. Okay, uh, let's check the next question out. Oh, there's no other level, so I guess that's it for this video, guys. Uh, please let me know if you have any other questions, comment below, and like the video, subscribe to the channel if you still did not do that so that you can get notifications every time I upload a video regarding your homework assignments. Thanks again for watching guys, I will see you in another video.